new videos every day. I like to know things. Hi, I'm Dr. Caroline Kyle, and I teach people how to teach math, well, as one of my many jobs. Um, today, in this video, you're going to see some of the games that you can play with your child at home. They're very simple, and they're a lot of fun and, and really easy to make. And uh, these games help build a foundation for later understanding in math, and really will set your child up for success in school, um, so everyone will be happier in your household. One of the other things you'll see me use in this uh, video is something called a 10 frame. And 10 frames were designed by researchers to help children picture numbers in their head. And we want kids to be able to think in terms of 5, 10, 15, 20. And 10 is a very important number because when we get to one group of 10, then we start all over again. We start our teens, that kind of a thing. We 10 involves borrowing and carrying and stuff like that. So these were designed, uh, and you can use them at home. You don't need to be a PhD to, to create something like this. But these were designed to help children visualize numbers, having something to see in their head. So this is the number six. The rule for using these is you fill a row of five first, and then you start on the next row. So you can see that six is made up of five plus one. And you can actually see that six it takes four more to get to 10. Now I'm going to take this card away and I'm going to ask you to picture this card in your head, six. Can you do that? Can you see the six in your head on the 10 frame? So six plus what equals 10? And this is what you should see. These can be held like this or like this. I made, you'll see that we make them out of ice cube trays and we make little tiny ones and the children make their own and they can play different games with them. I'm Caroline and this is my niece Rayleigh and we're going to show you some fun things that you can do with math at home. And Rayleigh, would you tell everybody what this is called? A 10 frame. A 10 frame, yes. And we always fill it the same way every time. We always fill a row of five or a column of five first. Would you show them how to make the number four? Excellent. See, you always fill it like this first because then you can ask some questions like, Really, how many more would I need to get to five? One. One, exactly. Four plus one is what? Five, show me that. Perfect. Now you ask me a question. Four, no, five plus. Mm -hmm. And I can just see that right here. I can see 5 plus 5 gives me how many? 10. ten. How many 5s are in one group of 10? Two. Two. Exactly. Exactly. What we know about how, how people learn is they start with something concrete. They need a concrete experience. They need something to see, feel, and touch. And the topic needs to be interesting and meaningful to them. And you're going to see in this video a little six-year-old girl and watch her face and how interested she is in demonstrating to you or to me the, the math facts and, and showing me addition and showing me subtraction. And you'll notice that she's much more alive, and she's bright, and she's perky, and she's focused. She has her attention focused. Whereas if it were a worksheet, I guarantee you she would be looking out the window, or she would be, you know, no energy and kind of slouched over. Uh, and that's how I was, or frustrated and kind of, you know, I, I feeling kind of sick. I can't even picture what these numbers mean. Show me 10 minus 3. What's my answer? Seven. seven. How'd you know that was seven right away? Mm -hmm. When 
you look at that, can you tell that that's seven? How come you can tell that's seven? Yes, good, 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 good. Show me nine. Make the number nine. There's nine. Now you ask me a question. What is? Do it on something on here. Ten minus five. Ten minus five. Now if I took away five, can I do it like this? No. What do I have to do? Yes, one whole row. Ten minus five is what? Five. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. We're going to show you some other way of doing ten frames. Ten frames are really nice because it helps you think in terms of five and ten. And these, what did these used to be? Ice cube. Ice cube trays? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, what we know from research in education is that kids tend to uh, start hating math by second grade. And if you think back on your own math experience, sometimes, for some of you, maybe not for all of you, but math was really a very dry, boring uh, subject where you know, were thinking, when am I ever going to use this? Well, math actually really is, every equation is a, a story. It's an action story, and you want to bring math alive with uh, real-life objects so they can you know, see how it's applied.